Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. My name is Tanya. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I hope you guys had a chance to see my Dollar Haul Father's Day edition that I posted yesterday. So, and today is just my regular Dollar Tree hauls that I like to um, put up for you guys. So today, I'm gonna show you all what I picked up. So in their stationery section, they had some of these um, these Jot notebooks. They're um, long ones that comes with the pen and they have sayings on them. This one says, it's the little things in life. And I thought it was really pretty. This is the front and this is the back. And the notebook, um, I believe it's lined. I'm gonna open it. This one's for me anyway. So I'm gonna open it up and just show you guys what this is what it looks like. And this is the pen and the pen it does have this little rubber thing here so you don't lose your pen and yep it is lined so it has all these sheets in here and i guess you can make your list jot things down keep it in your glove compartment so that if you need to write something down you can and again this is the back the front and put your ink pen right in there and i thought this was really really fun I also have another one, and this says, This Girl Can, and I got this one for my daughter. This is the back, okay, and again, it comes with the pen, and I'm assuming, yes, this one is lined as well. I can tell that it is lined as well, so I'm going to open this one because this one's for her, and I thought it was really cute, and these look like they're really fun, cute little um, notebooks. I also saw these, um, whoops, these Pathways. Um, like little inspirational notebooks. And I thought these were just lovely. And there's the back and it has the inspirational quotes in them. And on the front, this says, if the path be beautiful, let's not ask where it leads. That's right, because y'all, it's all about the journey. It's never about the destination. It's always about the journey. And this is what the inside of it looks like. And these say, remember when life's path is steep to keep your mind even. And no one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. And it just has a bunch of inspirational sayings in here. Um, I'm going to give this one actually to um, my daughter. Or I might give her the other one that I have. So I thought it was really cute, really fun. Just inspirational things. You can look at it and um, read them. See what resonates with you. And it's a book. So there's there's other um, sayings in it as well. And I think this comes with an envelope that you can um, maybe give it as a gift or um, tuck it away somewhere. And the other one I got was this one here. So this is the front of this one and this is the back of it. And this one says, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams, Eleanor Roosevelt. And that is very, very true. And this is the, what the inside looks like right here. And these say, throw your dreams into space like a kite, and you do not know what it will bring back. A new life, a new friend, a new love, a new country. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dreams are excursions into the limbo of things, a semi-deliverance from human prison. Absolutely. So I just thought these were really cute, inspirational things. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling like you need a a pick me up or a word of encouragement. I like these little notebooks. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get some more. I think they had some more patterns, but I got these from myself. I might give one to my daughter um, or I might keep them both. I don't know yet, but I think these were great. I got two of those. I also saw some of these stickers. It says spring, perfect, and just like little designs on them. You know, this one at the bottom says, always in my heart. I thought that was really pretty. And just some little pretty stickers. They didn't have much stickers in my Dollar Tree that I went to. They were pretty much, um, people were in there getting themselves some stickers. So this is a really nice packet of stickers that I picked up. Um, I also saw two books. Um, I saw this book, it's a, these are cookbooks, recipe books. And this is called Pasta Made Simple. And I like this book because it the ingredients in here are very few. And you can see some of the pasta dishes in here. Um, let's see. This is goat cheese and fresh basil penne. How delicious is that? 
I would definitely be eating that. Asparagus and ricotta pasta. Delicious. Yes, ma'am. I could definitely be eating some of this. Garlic and broccoli penne. It's really, really good. And it is called Pasta Made Simple. And this book, I believe it originally went for, let's see, it doesn't have the price on it anywhere. But um, you get it for a buck at the Dollar Tree. And again, like I said, the ingredients in here are really simple. You see, so this is the Mediterranean pasta. And the ingredients list is very small. And I like books, cookbooks that I don't have to go out to all these specialty stores and try to find specialty ingredients I've never heard of. Very simple, and I like this one. This one is vegetables made simple. So again, the recipes in here are very short. The ingredients list is very short. This is roasted beet salad with, with feta cheese. I don't eat beets, but um, it looks still looks really good. And again, the recipe list is very small. Spinach, Catalan, Catalan style. And there's a picture of that. That looks really good as well. Let's see, what else do they have? Buffalo cauliflower bites, yum. That looks like it might be easy. Just a simple way to um, put some life into into your vegetables, you know? Just, just to get away from the simple green beans and broccoli that we're always making. Just a little something to make vegetables seem a little bit more appetizing. Crispy potatoes with arugula. Now that's a nice, that's a nice photo. And again, short ingredients list. You don't need a whole lot of crazy ingredients. So this is a really nice uh, cookbook. I'm gonna enjoy both of those. And I'm actually gonna use those books. You know, I don't wanna go out and buy a cookbook I know I'm not gonna use. Vegetables and pasta are definitely something I'm gonna use. I saw these, um, what are these called? I guess you, ladies clear plastic bag. I'm gonna be going out of town um, 4th of July weekend, so I need something to put my, um, my um, what do you call those things, toiletries in. So I went ahead and I picked this up and I picked up one in black. I'm probably gonna take the red one with me, so. Yeah, you can put your little toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, whatever you need in here. It does um, come with a zipper so that you can zip up your little toiletries in here. And I'm just something to put in my little overnight bag I'm gonna be taking with me. So I got a blue and a red and a black one. I picked up three packages of their Clorox wipes. I will be taking these with me when I go away as well, just to disinfect um, my room and where I'm gonna be staying at, making sure everything is properly clean and disinfected. So I'm gonna be taking these with me as well. I went into their um, makeup section and I saw these nail polishes. I thought they were really, really pretty. Well, this one is called Wet n Wild and it's the grape one. And that's just a nice purple, wet n wild, um, a nice grape one. This is called um, Grape Minds Think Alike. Grape Minds Think Alike. I thought it was really pretty, pretty um, purple nail polish. And these two, I opened up these, because honestly, I wasn't sure what it was. But this is, again, it's wet and wild, but I opened them up, so I'm going to show them to you. And these are nail polishes, and they're glittery. These are glittery nail polishes. I am, I do have one on my finger here, but it's not, um, I didn't put a, a, a couple of coats on. I just put one coat on, so you really probably can't see it. But this one is what this one looks like, nice and sparkly and glittery, and then you have this one as well, sparkly and glittery, I like that too. So yeah, I've never seen these before on the Dollar Tree, so I went ahead and picked up two of those. Um, Bolero has this moisturizing body oil, coconut oil and sea salt. So this is what this looks like. I haven't seen anyone haul this. Um, so it's the body, moisturizing body oil, coconut and sea salt. So basically you just put it on your body while it's still damp, smooth out a few drops to help steal in moisture. Um, so yeah, let's open it up and see what it smells like. Just to see what it, if it has a scent or anything to it. I'm not quite sure. Can I even get in it? We'll see. Okay, so it just looks like this. It's clear, doesn't have any color to it at all. Let's open it up. Just a body oil. Spray it on my hand. 
Let's see. Oh, okay, it smells really nice. It has a nice scent to it. So, yeah, it smells really good. Um, so, yeah, it's Bolero Coconut and Sea Salt. And you just put it on after your shower, after your bath. I'm probably going to use it mostly for my hands. I might put it on my feet, too. I don't know. But it does have a nice smell to it. So, if you see it in a Dollar Tree, go ahead and pick up some body oil from Bolero. Yesterday, when I did my Father's Day edition, I had said that I had got my um, boyfriend some of these um, Aroma Guru um, oils. They roll on. I got him the one for muscle ache and muscle tension. This one is lavender, and I also got the peppermint, and these are for me. And basically, you just roll it on any part of the body that you like. Now, the lavender, as we all know, is for relaxation. It's the lavender. It's the benefits of lavender essential oils. You know, it helps with relaxation. It helps with calming. You can put it on your back of your neck here. You can put it on your wrist here, um, on your pulse area. And it's really good. It helps with relaxation and calming. If you're feeling, um, you know, anxious or anything, try some lavender, even lavender candles or lavender aromatherapy is also really, really good. And this is peppermint as well. Peppermint essential oil is also very, very good for you as well. It does the same, a lot of the same things that lavender does. So if you are into that type of stuff, I love oils. Um, so, and I do use them. So I got the peppermint and I got the lavender. And like I said, they also have the one for muscle tension. And I got that for my boyfriend for uh, his part of his Father's Day um, bag. My last Dollar Tree haul, I did haul some of these magic towels. Um, basically, you take it out, you put it in water, and it becomes this towel. Now, I use these for dish towels or, you know, dishcloths to wash the dishes with. Um, they, they are for children. They are for kids. But um, I don't have any young kids that would enjoy this. So I use the ones that I got for dishcloths or dish towels, dish rags rather, to wash the dishes with. And they're kind of cute. So this one is Toy Story 4. Yeah, so that was kind of cute. You know, just, or you can use it for cleaning, whatever you want to use with it for. They, they actually expand into a nice size um, washcloth type size. So you can use it for cleaning your dishes or use it for yourself. I got some of this oral anal analgesic gel, the Too Faced Canker Sores Gum Pain Denture Pain and Cheek Bites. So I got some of this. I didn't have any of this in my emergency arsenal. So I went ahead and picked some of that up as well. I saw this candle holder. I thought it was really pretty. Now when you put the candle in, it's gonna flicker. And with this, um, I don't know what kind of design you call this. I wouldn't call it chiseled. I don't know what you would call it, but it's really pretty. And if, you know, when the candle starts to flicker, it's gonna make a really, it's gonna um, have a really pretty um, design to it. So the light's gonna hit that, it's gonna be really pretty. So I went ahead and picked up one of these. I think they also had it in blue. Um, I saw someone else haul the blue one, but they didn't have blue in my dollar store. So I just got the white one. Let's see what else. I picked up some of this Ocean Spray Cran Grape Juice from the Dollar Tree. I got the Cran Grape, cran grape and I got the Cran um, Raspberry as well. Kids enjoy that. I got one of these teas. I got the pink, uh, the tea and lemonade, the peace teas. So I went ahead and picked up one of those for a dollar. I got the Sunny D. I got the Tangy Original. I got two in this orange um, flavor. And I also got two in the um, orange strawberry flavor. So I got four of these, these in total. Two in this flavor and two in this one. I picked up some of these water enhancers. This is the Sunkissed Pineapple. It said it's new, so I've never seen it in Dollar Tree. So uh, the Sunkissed Pineapple Water Enhancer. I also picked up the Sunkissed Strawberry. Again, it says it's new. And I also picked up the Peach Iced Tea, the Wireless Peach Iced Tea. Water and enhancers for my water. I gotta get some more water in me, y'all. I don't drink enough water, but I have to have something in it. I picked up some of this Azul Mango Juice Beverage. 
Um, my daughter enjoyed this the last time I bought it, so I went ahead and picked her up one. I saw this Nestle Nesquik chocolate um, envelopes for your chocolate milk. It's one envelope equals one serving. You get six envelopes inside. And I've never seen these in the Dollar Tree. And I think these are great because, you know, you know, your kids can make a, a glass of chocolate milk, you know, um, when they want it instead of having some in the refrigerator and it goes bad, they don't drink it in time. So having it, you know, when they want it and they can just make them a cup is actually um, really good. So I went ahead and I picked up some of this um, Nestle Nesquik for your chocolate milk. Same New look, same great taste. So they can make them a glass and it's one it's uh one envelope per one glass of milk so yeah you get six in here let's see what else did i pick up i picked up some of the sure fresh power steel storage sandwich bags i was running low and i needed some of those i picked up two things of the stacks lays chips i got the cheddar and i got the sour cream and onion I picked up some of these Mrs. Freshly's mini powdered donuts. My son did not see these yet. That's why they're still here. I picked myself up a bag of Cheez-Its just for a snack. I picked up some of this bridge mix. It's chocolate covered nuts, fruits, caramels, and creams. So just a little uh, sweet uh, candy treat for myself. I saw these Sonic um, freezer bars. It's ocean water and cherry limeade. So I went ahead and got those. They also had the, um, they also had the, uh, the other kind, you know, the, um, Kool-Aid ones, I think it was, but I went ahead and picked up the Sonic. So yeah, they're going to like those. I'm going to try that cherry limeade. That looks really good. The cherry limeade is so good. So I'm going to try that one. So I did, I did pick up two of these um, magic towels. I picked up this one as well. So we got that one too. I just have to pick myself up some napkins for the house. Napkins. I should have got some paper towels, but I forgot to pick those up. I got some of this Ajax lime with baking soda. So I went ahead and picked up two of these as well. And then you guys, I picked up a bunch of um, bags, a bunch of their shopping bags, their um, gift bags. They had some really, really nice ones. So I'm gonna show you those as soon as I move all this other stuff out of the way. I had everything just piled up here together. I try to be organized before I come on. So I saw this, um, these bags here. This is the drawstring sack. And it has a zipper here in the front. So you can put um, whatever you need in here. Zipper there in the front. It's just a drawstring. And just something you can just, something light you can take and have with you on the go. It has the, the strands here. So I got three of these. I got one in black, one in pink, and one in red. So I got three of those. I picked up uh, two of these tote bags here. I think I'm going to take these when I go on my 4th of July weekend getaway. So I'm going to take one of these with me, probably take both of them. So I picked up two of these. I thought it was really cute, really fun. Let me open it up. Let's show you the inside of it. And the inside is just the regular inside of it. And it's just on the sides. It's just the plain blue on the side. So I picked up two of those. I also got a few of these smaller bags. This one I thought was a really pretty design. I thought that was a really pretty design with different uh, leaves and things. The side of the bag had the same design on it. So I thought that was a really pretty design for that one. And I got this one here, which just says love on it. Really pretty. And here is the side of the bag. Yeah, I thought it was gorgeous. Really pretty bag. Okay, here is that second one that I showed you. The first one is the second one. I got two of those. And these are the other two drawstring bags. I said I got the black one. I got a blue one. And I picked up a pink one. There you go. I thought these were cute bags. 
um, easy, on the go. Throw your stuff in there for summer. And I got three gift bags. Um, my nephew's son is turning um, a year old in August. So I picked him up a gift bag. I'm gonna be putting his um, little gifts in here. So it says hip hip hooray on it and has the balloons and the bears and the gifts and the party hats and everything. So I thought this was adorable. This is gonna be his gift bag. I'm gonna fill it with some things in it. So, and this is the side of the bag. Look, it has the um, stars on it. Is that stars? Yes, it has the stars on it. I thought it was really adorable, really cute. So this is gonna be his gift bag for his things when he turns a year old in August. The Dollar Tree is a great place to go for gift bags. I don't know why people go out and spend, you know, five and six dollars on a gift bag. The Dollar Tree has beautiful gift bags. I saw this one and this one has lemons on it. I love this one. It has all the lemons on it. I thought it was so cute. I don't know who I'm gonna give this one to, but it, it's really cute. And look at the pink there on the side. The side as well. I thought it was so stinking adorable. All those lemons, so cute. I love this one. And of course they had one with the watermelons on it. This one here, again, I thought it was so adorable. Look at that, watermelons. And the side of the bag has the stripes on it there like that. This side as well has the stripes. Cute watermelons, thought it was adorable. So that's another cute gift bag. And the last one has the flamingos on it. Again, so stinking cute. You don't have to go, and it has the stripes there, which is really cute. You don't have to go spend five and six dollars on a really nice gift bag for someone. You know, the Dollar Tree has great, great bags. So I like this one as well. Okay, is that everything? Yes, you guys, that is everything. That is my Dollar Tree haul. So thank you guys for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Tanya. So hit that subscribe button if you would like to. Give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you know when I upload more videos. And I have loved spending this Father's Day with you guys, watching my Dollar Tree haul. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye now.